Once your tire is off, you need to remove the brake caliper. The bolt size for that is a 13 millimeter and there are two located on the back side. With the caliper retainer bolts off, just wiggle the caliper off and set it off to the side. Just make sure not to hang it off of the rubber brake line. So I set it up on the control arm. Now you can slide your old brake pads off. In order to take the rotor off, you first need to remove the caliper bracket. This is done using a 15 millimeter socket. And again, there are two bolts hiding in the back. With the two bolts off, the caliper bracket will pop right off. Next, use a T30 Torx to remove the small screw that's located inside your bolt pattern on the rotor and then slide the rotor off. Slide the new rotor on, making sure one of the chamfered holes aligns with the threaded hole for the T30 screw. And replace the T30 screw. Give the rotor one last clean with some brake cleaner to remove any grease you might have got on during the installation process. Clean any grime off the chrome inserts and then reinstall your caliper bracket. I like to use a little anti-seize on these bolts so that next time we do the brake job they'll come off a little bit easier. Once the caliper bracket is tightened up, apply a little bit of brake lube or brake grease to the sliding components of your new brake pads. So these are going to be the little tabs on the sides and you can apply a little bit to the back which could help a little bit with squeaking. Then slide your brake pads into place. Remove the brake reservoir cap. And then push back the piston in the brake caliper. This one actually has two pistons. And I squeezed it back with a little wood clamp and a block, but it actually goes back easy enough that you should be able to do it with your fingers on this one. With the piston back, you can slide the brake caliper back in place. You may have to wiggle the caliper pins a little bit to get the bolt hole located over them so you can insert your caliper bolts. When you're wiggling the caliper pins, just make sure they slide in and out nicely. Reinstall the bolts that hold the caliper on and tighten them up. Don't forget to put the cap back on your brake reservoir. And put the tire back on. Once you've snugged up the lug nuts, torque them to 100 foot-pounds using a torque wrench. Always torque in a star pattern to avoid any uneven stress on the brand new brake rotors. Now you can lower your car from the jack, start it, and give your brake pedal a couple pumps until it feels firm again, and that's all for the brake job. Be sure to subscribe if you like these kinds of videos, and click the bell to be notified when I post a new one. Thanks for watching.